process behind. Why you got a poofy tail? Why your tail poofing? Come here. This is Nar. Hi. Say hi to YouTube. And this is Kingston. Oh. Yes. Okay. So my name is Sweets and I am a digital and mixed media artist in the Midwest. Very recently I've been having a lot of people ask me about my process behind how I make my mixed media art. So I decided to procrastinate and not do my drawing homework and create this instead. So um, the other day I was walking through Ikea and I came across some plates in the discounted section and I like to paint on objects and like recycle them. Um, and then also my friends and I needed a ashtray so I decided to take this plate, this plate from Ikea and uh, turn it into an ashtray. So I'll take you along that journey with me. Yeah, and we'll get down to it. So to begin with, I started cleaning off the plate, um, getting it prepared to be painted on. Don't mind that hose in the sink. There's a hose in the sink. Um, I recently did a water change for my crayfish. Then it was time to spray paint, and on the directions it says to do it somewhere between 50 to 90 degrees. But coming from the Midwest, I couldn't wait another month to start this project, so... I decided to try something new and do it in 40 degrees. The only thing that really happened is it did take a little longer to dry. But what is art if you're not trying something new anyway? While waiting inside, I made sure to have my guard stand by. I've heard that art theft is the highest crime rate here in the Midwest, and I didn't want to take my chances on that. Whenever I start a new project, I always make sure to sketch my idea out and procreate first. I find this is a lot faster and easier than doing it in Photoshop or drawing it IRL. And then in the middle of his shift, one guard requested his payment in the form of love. And um, I did not mind this. It was a nice little break. Got to think some of my design choices. Getting back into the groove of my procreate process. Um, if you don't know me, I create a bunch of trippy art. I'm very inspired by optical illusions. And so for this plate, I wanted to try out an optical illusion and see how that would work. Uh, I guess the trickiest part was figuring out a color scheme that matched the spray paint. I did take a color theory class before, but sometimes it's still very tricky to understand. So in times like these, I'll find a color scheme online and just play around with the color combinations until I find something that I like. This pattern that you see me pulling from another project is a pattern of mine that I try to put on every art piece. So I wanted to make sure it looked good um, on the colored spiral before I put time doing that in real life. And that's part of the beauty of Procreate because you can really just flush out your ideas and figure out very quickly if this will work or if this design choice won't work. Once I thought I fleshed out my idea, I felt comfortable enough to continue on and go into the painting process. Obviously I couldn't go on to the next step until my guard checked out my progress and he seemed to be okay with it. So I don't show this but I end up making stencils on my computer and printing them and cutting them out. Um, I find this really helps when trying to get accurate lines especially with Optical illusions, you kind of need to have really precise lines in order for that to work. 
I mentioned earlier how I took a color theory class, so I've got this color aid packet from that. And since I'm no expert at color theory yet, I decided to pull some of the greenish, bluish tones and try to use that to help me mix the color that I really wanted to use for that spiral. And of course, it's not a true art video unless I show the colors being mixed. Uh, some people find that very soothing to watch. I am sorry that the video, though, is not zoomed in. I will try to remember that for next time. But enjoy it anyway. Um, I have a really bad habit of mixing too much color. So I have found these little plastic containers will hold my paint for a while and it's cool because then I get to reuse it for another project and not have to, you know, mix that color again. Moving into the painting part of my process, I tend to just zen out and focus on the painting. So since I've talked a lot in this video, uh, let's just zen out together and I hope you enjoy watching me paint. And I'm back. Um, I hope you enjoyed that time of zenning out. Sorry you have to listen to me talk now. But hopefully you learned something, I guess. Um, so this goes on into the nighttime, and I, I really enjoy painting at night. It's kind of cool because I have these color changing light bulbs, and so I get to see how I guess my piece reacts to certain colors and that's probably my favorite part of creating traditional art is just seeing how these mediums come together and react in certain lights. I did find that even though I was trying to take my time, I was getting a little too excited to see this finished and so I ended up not doing very smooth and thin layers of paint and that's where I really messed up on this project so I ended up redoing the plate again because I'm a perfectionist <laughs> but you know you learn something every time from start to finish so now I really know to take my time on painting plates and that the the smoother and thinner layers are and letting it build up is way better than getting globs of paint and just waiting for it to dry well i think i lost footage of me finishing my pattern but here's the finished piece so with it being finished i decided to pour resin on top of it and this is something else that's also new to me I've never done this before but thankfully I've watched a lot of youtubers do it so I felt pretty confident after two years to <laughs> try it um, so yeah I had to go down to my grandpa's house to pour the resin on uh, so my cat's hair wouldn't get into it then I just had to let it cure for 24 hours. 
yeah, so that is my process behind how I create my mixed media art. Uh, hopefully you learned something or a new technique. Um, so yeah, I mentioned that I made two pieces. So if you're interested in buying the second one, uh, I'll leave my Etsy link down below so you can get it. And I'm also open for commissions. So if you want me to paint you one, let me know. Uh, but besides that, I'll just show you the final clip of how it turned out. So thank you for watching.